Uh, my next guest has appeared in numerous films and television shows, including Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and The Sopranos. Now you can see him each week on The X-Files. Please welcome Robert Patrick. How have you been? Your show. Oh, been this great. is great. You know, it's funny when I you've, you've, you're doing so many different things, you're working all the time, but whenever you mention that Terminator 2 role, people go crazy. It follows me around everywhere I go. That that liquid metal guy is everywhere. Yeah. Ten years later, I'm still the liquid metal guy. Yeah. Do you hang out with, with <clears throat> Arnold very much? Arnold Schwarzenegger? Do you become friends with him? You ever go to a party or socialize with him? Uh, you know, I uh, right before T2 came out, I went to this article. So you call it T2? T2, I do. See, is that's that right? what the cool people is call it. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What we call it. <laughs> Do you call uh, Hollywood squares squares or host squares? It's not important. <laughs> well, I went to this. Uh, I went to this art opening uh, that Arnold had. Uh, there was a Japanese artist who had painted some pictures of him and whatnot. And, uh, painted pictures of Arnold. Arnold, yeah. There was Arnold has big, people painting big, pictures of him. Yeah, there's a, I think the guy's named Yamaguchi or something like that. Right. And they invited all these. Uh, these I love, uh, I love I guys know. that have pictures of themselves painted. Well, I, I you know, I don't. I, yeah, big, big pictures. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. but, but there was all sorts of celebrities there. And Clint Eastwood was there, and uh, I was introduced to him by Joel Kramer, who was a stunt coordinator. He's one right. of Arnold's friends, and I, I meet Clint for the first time. And, they say, hey, uh, Arnold, this is the guy that's going to beat the heck out of Arnold uh, in T2. And Clint right. looks me up and down and goes, uh, that's certainly a formidable task. <laughs> <laughs> that's my friend. He's invitation. cool. That was very good. Thank you. Thank you. Right. The, uh, you know, the fight scenes. The fights, we were uh, watching one of the fight scenes today. Because you were coming on, we just, it was an excuse to pop that movie in again because it's so great. And we were watching the fight scene with you and Arnold at the end of the movie where you're in like the smelting works oh, you guys yeah, are yeah, yeah, yeah. was that it was that a tough uh scene to shoot because you guys look like you're really beating oh, the hell out of each that, other that went on forever we shot it it was a couple of it was like three months worth of the film right there right. that big fight scene uh they, it was very hard and especially uh there's a scene where i've got this large metal rod uh they they actually had a rubber coated but i'm standing over and i'm 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 pulverizing his back, and there's a specific spot I've got to hit because his real arm is behind him. So he's like got this. a fake arm attached, and the real arm is back here? It's back here, right. So he's got the prosthetic thing. And I was very nervous about doing it to begin with. This is the one take where he's going to be the guy that I'm, I'm pounding in a right. certain spot. And I, I, I'm sitting there wailing away on him, and at a certain spot, I knew I hit his real arm. He doesn't flinch, you know, and, and we, we, they, 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 uh, Cameron calls cut, and he, I just see this head turn and look at me and go, Robert. That was my real arm. <laughs> <laughs> so the rest of the movie, I'm petrified. You're you petrified, know, what's yeah. What's he gonna do? What's the retaliation gonna be? And then he just calls you late at night. That was my real arm. <laughs> it's, still, it's still going on. Then the police call and say, he's in the house with you. <laughs> um, I'm going to get you. Uh, I will be there. Now, you, um, speaking of celebrities, I understand you're, you like to ride bikes. You like to ride motorcycles. I do. I love riding Harley Davidsons. And I, uh, uh, you know, uh, our, our lead-in guy, my friend Jay Leno, he, he rides motorcycles. He has a big motorcycle collection. You go riding with Jay, don't I you? Do, I, well, I, I've ridden uh, the Love Ride. Uh, is, uh, I want to know what you do in your spare time. And the, the That's your ride. business. For the Love Ride, for all you uh, Harley enthusiasts out there, as you know, Glendale Harley gets together and they, they, they uh, raise money for muscular dystrophy and literacy by nine. And Jay is the Grand Marshal that year to year with Peter Fonda. Uh, and uh, I have ridden with him through that. Uh, but he there's a have... place where he goes that hangs out. I got to tell you about this bike. I don't know if you've, if you've seen this bike. Which bike? Because well, he has like 50 bikes. He's got every bikes. bike known to man, I yeah. think. He's, uh, but uh, one particular day, he was at the Rock Store, which is a place we all ride to. Mm -hmm. And usually Sundays he's out there. I hope he doesn't mind me saying that. But I, I, I see this crowd around Jay's bike, right? And, you know, it's the, you know they're looking at Jay's bike. And uh, all of a sudden, I smell jet fumes. And then I hear a jet engine I know this bike. Up. And he's literally got a motorcycle that's built on a jet engine. And uh, there he goes. You it's know, down a bell. The street, there's, a, there's an aircraft. You know, it's really, it's amazing. Uh, last time I did The Tonight Show, which is just like two months ago or something, uh, you know, I'm there for rehearsal. We had re I was going to do a little bit, so I'm there rehearsing. And then Jay says, hey, come on, I'm going to tell you something. Come on, you know? <laughs> and that's how he talks. And he takes me with him, right? Right. And he takes me with him. He goes, ah, you gotta see this. Come on. And he shows, takes me outside, and he's got this beautiful bike. And I think, well, that's a really cool-looking bike, but, you know, I don't know anything about bikes. He gets on, he flips it on, and you hear, it's the sound you hear when you're on a jet, and they turn on the engine. It's that, yeah. you know, it go, and then you start smelling the fumes. 
and it's got like this liquid quartz, really cool screen of lights, and it like can talk to him. Jay, you're about to get on the bike, you know. It's and like the Knight Rider bike or something, right? It's really, it's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. And he revs it up to because it has a jet. It has a it has a helicopter engine in it. Is that what it is? It's a jet helicopter engine, and it can go you know like fifty thousand RPMs, and like all these dials are spinning. But what's so funny is that he gets on it, and then because we're on the uh, Burbank lot, he gets it, and it's like vibrating, and the whole the ground is vibrating, oh, yeah. and birds are leaving the area. Yeah, and the trees and then, are getting burned. Yeah, going. and everything. And then he takes off, but because he's on a, the Burbank lot, he can only go like eight miles an hour. <laughs> so he's going. <laughs> and there's this, you know, Jay Leno head going, ee, ee, you know, and it's like going this fast, and a cat is walking faster than it. You know, he can't, he's not going to have to like take off. Oh. But it's amazing. It's an it's amazing bike. Cool, yeah. I heard he's got like a, is there a TV screen on it so he can see what's behind it? There's a TV screen so he can see what's behind it. So he doesn't have to look back. Yeah. He's, he's like, just keep and when the whole thing was done, I took him over and showed him my Ford Taurus, which he was. <laughs> I was saying, look, it's got an electric door lock. Click, click, <laughs> click, click. Like, ah, great kid, you know. So see you later. it's going yeah. up and down. Right. Uh, the X Files is on Fox Sunday nights at nine, and people love you on that show. I'm having a great time doing it. It's one of the best characters I've ever gotten to play. Uh, he's a guy's a New York City police detective, former Marine, and now he's an FBI agent. Yeah. The fans of the X Files have just been great, and uh, yeah, they've accepted they, you. They like you. Yeah, on the show. They, I, they, they realize it's a standalone character. It's a new right. guy joining the show. Uh, uh, um, he's not there to replace Mulder or anything, and so it's it's really been uh, one of the best experiences I've had. And the next three shows we have coming up, we're going to find the truth about Scully's uh, pregnancy, and right. uh, there's also going to be a significant death on the show, and uh, that's about all I can tell you. <laughs> Just ruin it right now, won't no, you? No, I'm not going to ruin it. All right, no, I didn't think you would. <laughs> they'll, they'll come get me. They'll they be really dumb if you did that. Hey, yeah. thanks for being here. Continued success. Conan, thank you very much. Robert Patrick. We'll be right back. Gene Pompas here. That was really good. <laughs>